Hello, very well, like, welcome to my dear viewers. My name is Howard. I'm again here to tell you that how to use the uh, Turnitin instructor account, right? Uh, that is a critical account to use. So that's why I'm gonna make a tutorial to t let you know that how to use it. Okay, and please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos and press the bell icon to stay up updated. All right, so uh, I'm gonna start it uh, like the video that I'm gonna tell you that how to use Turnitin account. Okay, you have an instructor account. You can see that there is a, that is written there. This is your instructor homepage to create a uh, class click click ad within this and that. Okay, uh, there are two uh, you can say possible ways to use this account or possible directions to use this account. One you want to check the plagiarism at your own okay you want to check the grammatical mistakes at your own okay for your own work and the second is that you want to enroll someone else in the account and you want to let that person check th that how to use and how to do uh, the thing that like check the plagiarism and all the stuff which i told in a uh, few videos ago right okay uh, so first of all i will tell you that how to use this account for you and later i will tell you that how you can uh, hook up others to in your account okay uh, first of all you need to make uh, you need to add the class okay click add the class button and that will come up with this tab you can see okay class setting you have to choose the class setting that is uh, two settings are there class standard and master master is a little bit complex you can make uh, future uh, segregations you can say and standard is uh, quite okay like there is not more complications to make the standard okay you have to make the class name for example you are thinking about pleasant pleasant checker one or something like that okay okay there you have to give a enrollment key okay join one two three for example you can set at your own any key whatever you want to do okay so uh, later you can select your areas your uh, areas are relating medical nursing health sciences or your areas are relating economics business whatever it is you can add it here okay and later, later you can set the student levels for this class uh, either it's postgraduate undergraduate graduate or what whatever it is okay so class start date is there that will be today okay and the class end date is there you have to select a class and date uh, for at least one year that that is not a recommendation by the software like you can use you can choose anyone you can choose it after one month after six months it's it's up to you but i'm recommending it to you by myself that use it uh, for at least one year that will make you uh, like uh, relax that the class is for one year and you can hook up anyone in this class for one year right okay so we're gonna do submit submit this okay and submit this and wait for a while yeah there comes the information of the class like this is a class id and the class enrollment key uh, if anyone want to join this class and has already his or her account at turn it in so you can give these information to him or her so that person can join you here but uh, i will let you know later on okay you will press it continue okay now you have a class class id class name status Okay, now you have the class, right? You can see uh, there is a class ID, class name, right? So uh, what you need to do next, uh, you're watching this message, congratulations, you have created a new class, all right? So you have to click uh, the present checker one, okay? First of all, class name, all right? Now you have to do the second thing that is to add assignment, right? watch this precisely this is very important okay add the assignment click to add the assignment 
right you can see the uh, my browser is working but it's internet speed that is really bitter for the day okay here we comes that is very important okay you can give the any name to assignment a1 a2 but it should be uh, for two you can say characters at least two characters it's up to you okay and uh, start date is the same for today due date you can set the due date up to last date of this class okay and if you remember we set uh, the last date august yeah 2019 august 31st okay so post date you can also uh, set the post date for the same okay so that is also august 31 okay that's it now we know you need to click the optional settings those are very important okay uh, allow submission after the due date yes similarity report yes okay generate similarity report for the student submissions okay uh, usually there comes immediately first report is final but that is not workable for us or for our students which we gonna enroll in our account okay so immediately can override reports until the due date that is very useful you can say for all of us and uh, uh, exclude the material from similarity index that you can figure yes or no that does not matter so much okay exclude coded material for similarity index mm, okay exclude small resources now allow students to see similarity report yes in that way uh, they can see the similarity report okay they can check the plagiarism where it falls and they can use it okay enable uh, anonymous making now okay that is a very very important thing submit papers too right usually they selected standard paper repository and institution paper like a lot of repositories are there but you have to select no repository in that way your assignment or your work will not be submitted to any repository if you will submit your work to a repository then your will your work will show the plagiarism hold the plagiarism for next time all right like for example you have six percent plagiarism in your work right and you submitted it to the repository for next time well then you will be using it so that will show you hundred percent plagiarism okay so you have to select no repository so in that way you can use it in a beneficial way okay uh, student paper repository institutional these are like checked but we are not submitting in any repository okay uh, online grading that is something else right that's that's also important ETS e reader setting okay usually that uh, comes like with no you can see enable grammar checking using e reader technology yes we need to enable it okay and I have already selected advanced setting for for the grammar checking you can check your grammar and you can make it correct because you know uh, today's uh, nowadays it is very important to have grammatical correction in your uh, work in your all kind of research works okay so uh, you can see uh, they're using both US and UK English uh, dictionaries and they're giving you uh, like you can say uh, solutions for spelling grammar usage mechanics and style some, something like that okay you know you can submit submit this assignment now the assignment will be created okay you created the first assignment right so uh, what you need to do you want to check the plagiarism by yourself okay you can click at view now you are in uh, the assignment and you need to submit a file okay you're submitting a file there is no enrolled student obviously you are the instructor okay you can uh, put your name mr. a and uh, you can put your uh, last name BZ whatever it is uh, you can put your name and you can uh, give the name to the submission file test one and right now I'm giving it test one because it's test one I'm um, I, I do have make a file to uh, test in this and I try to create a bit plagiarism in that file because uh, 
if there will be no plagiarism so you will not be uh, watching all the thing what is happening over there okay so choose from this uh, computer okay obviously you will be choosing it from your computer okay you can see test one test one file I have created for this especially okay you can collect it and upload it all right so that will be giving you information about your account so now you have yeah and uh, now you uh, th that will give you the information about your uh, uh, file and all the things which you done all already and now you need to confirm it all right so now you will confirm it and uh, just need to go to the assignment inbox click on that there comes the file right this is the file author name and test uh, test one that's the file name all right and the other information you need to check the plasm obviously you will click on the file right you need to wait for a while this is my internet that is crushing me today I don't know what happened with the internet all right there comes the uh, thing like okay now we got it yes we got it so there is no plasm at all in this file I was telling you I tried to create but I don't know why I missed it all right so uh, there is no plasm at all you can see zero here if there will be a plasm so that will be telling that there is a plasm all right so other things are there resources are there right uh, that is ETS if you want to check the grammatical checks and an edge okay you just need to uh, click it and you need to wait for wait for a while that is loading e-reader feedback so uh, that will be very helpful just wait for a while uh, again this is my internet I will try probably next to have a very good internet connection so there comes the errors right you can see there comes the error uh, what is technology has come right technology has has have or uh, after those there should be a, a third form of verb like in like in you can say but uh, there is a uh, uh, comes not uh, other thing like uh, you need to use uh, some third or third form of verb and uh, pros and cons article error like there should be the uh, before the pros and cons right these sort of things uh, grammatical correction will be telling you and you can make them correct in your original file okay and if you want to uh, just remove these things from here for the being you can click uncheck them all of them okay so what will be happening uh, when you will uncheck all of them so that will be gone okay you can close it and you want the file you will click the settings and download that you can say uh, tab and you can download it in current view right that is preparing to download just give me a second okay that is just downloading it Just for a while, wait for a while. Okay, it has been downloaded. It's okay, right now I need to open this file which we submitted there before. Okay, you can see this is the uh, first page like name and your name and uh, detail of the file, and this is the data. Uh, which we were written in the file okay and this is the repeat report okay here comes the like you can say uh, if there will be plasm detected there will be the plasm okay uh, plasm report will be at end all right so uh, for the time being you can close this that is uh, quite a you can say a good thing for you okay right okay all right 
okay so uh, you need to close it and you want to make it secure for example uh, that if sometime uh, somebody sometime else someone else uh, enter into into your account and uh, want to check that what you have uploaded here so uh, your data will be in wrong hands it could be happen but you need you don't want this so what you need to do you just uh, need to click at the file all right you need to select okay and you need to click the delete and that will give you option okay and now you have deleted your file right so the file has been deleted so the thing is that now you are free to go back okay you can move to back to your plasm account class and you can even move to the home right now you are done with one thing like you can uh, check the plasm at your own you can check uh, the instructor uh, like grammatical errors at your own and you can remove the file from here even no one can see this right so now the other part of this like if you want to add someone else here and as a student right and let them to check their plasm okay you need to check the class so you click the class now you're in the class later you need to click at the students currently there is there are no students in this class later you need to add students you need to click add students okay here you will give the first name right anyone for example you can use Sayed or and you can use a bus right and you can use the email of that person first name last name and email okay submit it right then you need to submit it that's it now the student has been submitted that student was in the class like already uh, I was in at uh, you can say a uh, turn it in account so uh, my ID was registered so that's why that comes here very easily okay but uh, the thing was if the student was not here there will come a red sign uh, along along the name and uh, uh, you can uh, use my other two videos how to make the turn it student turn it in account and how to use the student turn it in account you can watch them to uh, use a thing okay thank you very much for your time and uh, uh, please don't forget to subscribe my channel for more videos and press the bell icon button to stay updated thank you very much and best of luck God bless you